What's going on guys? It is Tony from Lumble Paint Pump. Today we are doing yet another sound comparison between the Planet Eclipse 180R versus the CS3. And why? Because it's the best source for paintball. That is LumblePaintball.com as always, Mark. So you guys want to see these videos, um, the, the lower end guns versus the higher end guns, not like lower end as in like bad, but like little brother versus big brother type stuff. So we got a brand new 180R and we got a brand new CS3. We're gonna run a pod of paint through each of these bad boys and see the sound signature uh, stock barrel straight out of the box. So you wanna start with the 180 mark? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, so we got, ooh, a nice little HDE Earth 180R. So let's put a pot of paint through this bad boy and see what it does. So a lot of people I've seen out there, I mean, Shockers versus Lux, uh, DSR versus the M3 Plus. Um, 180 versus CS3. What is the big money difference between the markers? And today, I mean, we've done full reviews on all of this stuff, but we're looking for sound signature. Does it ping? Does it shoot louder? Is it softer shot? So we'll find out. Let's do it. All right. So we got the 180 here. Once again, I'm going to do a couple singles, let it rip a little bit, and we'll see where it's at. You ready, Mark? Yes, sir. All right. Stock out of the box, stock barrel, all the good stuff. That seems pretty quiet for the, yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. Where are we at? All right, so on the single shots, we were right around 70 to 74. Okay. Uh, and when you were full on ramping, we peaked at 87. So when you ramp it, it you know, compounds and, and sure. echoes under the tent and stuff. So we're getting a little bit of a, a skewed reading, but uh, you know, I mean, it, it's a different sound than what we did in the previous video for sure with the, uh, yeah. the Mini GS and the Axe 2.0. Those were, I'm assuming higher, right? They were right around the same. I have a feeling a lot of these are, I mean, compressed air coming out of a tube, it's gonna have a, a similar, no matter what. Um, the shot definitely feels smoother though, if that it, makes any sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, and and just because something, there's different loudness, right? Like right. A, a, me hitting a snare drum and me hitting a bass drum, they might still read the same on a decibel meter, but to the ear it's definitely going to sound way oh, more harsh one way or the other 100 percent. yeah this one is it it seems pretty seems pretty quiet and you're holding that decibel reader all in the same spot he's not moving it around are you getting any lower readings or about the same about the same All right, that hopper is over with. We still got plenty of air left in that one. Cause you gotta take the, the meters reading the loudest point of the pop, right? What was the, lo what was the lowest, any idea? Uh, it would be on the screen. But. Yeah, we, we, it was on the screen, but like I said, we were hitting mid seventies, okay. uh, which was a little bit lower than uh, previous video, but. Fair enough. All right, let's do the, uh, let's do the CS3 now. Turn that bad boy off. All right, let's see what we got for this. See, this one seems a little louder. It is. So that peaked at uh, 77 on a, on a on single, single shot, whereas okay. the other, the 180, peaked at like nine or 75. So it's a couple decibels louder, which may not seem like a lot, but I mean. And that's what like a lot of other people saying, like, man, I feel like the 180 are like, was a little quieter and almost smoother, but <sighs> it's a close call. I, I felt like in my opinion, the 180 R was definitely a little quieter, but both of these guns are, I mean, they're animals out there. So, all right, let's go into full on ramp. See, that was, that hit, that peaked at 80. Where you at? 
And we're hitting 86 consistently on the ramp. Okay. That's what I figured. All right, that's a pod through that one. So uh, the choice is up to you guys. Save a lot of money and go with the 180 or, you know, go to the big boy tournament level and uh, get the CS3. The CS3 is definitely louder, yep. uh, only by two, maybe three decibels, uh, according to the meter we're using to keep it consistent. Uh, how much of a difference does that make to you? How much does that carry? Uh, I don't know. That is up to you. And uh, you guys already know where to get them. It's the best source. It's LomoPaintball.com. Thanks, Brad, for the video idea. See ya.